Uh, hi everyone. Hi okay, sir. Hi, hi sir. Hi. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi guys. Hi. Hi sir. Hi sir. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, since there is uh, too many of y'all, I think uh, better not to uh, on the mic. Okay. So you can leave it uh, mute. Okay. Anything you can put it in the chat box. Okay. Um, yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, some of you are familiar with me, and then a uh, lot of uh, new faces there. All right. Okay. So uh, I hope. I hope uh, everyone here are beginner in uh, Adobe Illustrator, all right? Because uh, I'm going to start with the very basic stuff, all right? And then uh, we'll try to do something, all right? A simple logo, for example, okay? Uh, have you all uh, managed to download the files? Okay, great, great. Okay, so by the way, those who doesn't know me, okay, my name is Yavinesh. Okay, I've been uh, conducting training since year 2008. Okay, mostly on uh, graphic design, uh, uh, video editing, visual effects, and 3D animation. All right. Okay, so uh, do you guys have any question before we get started? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, thanks, Pawan. Thank you. Okay, let me share my screen first. Okay, so what we are looking at is, uh, I just, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I unable to, to disable the ding sound there. Okay, it's a bell notification when somebody joins the meeting. Okay, I, I couldn't find it, I was searching just now. It doesn't show anything. Okay, sorry about that guys. We already tried to search, but I didn't found it. All right. Okay. So let's just uh, get started. All right. So first of all, uh, when you launch uh, uh, Illustrator, you will get this window. Uh, this is a welcome window where we can create a new document, or if you have an existing document that you already open, okay, it will be listed here. Okay. Mine it doesn't load. Okay. Never mind. So I'm going to go to File New, or you can. Uh, click create new document from the menu here. Okay, so you can also go to file new. Okay, so I'm going to go to the basic stuff first. Okay, whenever you start uh, creating uh, what we call uh, a design or artwork, uh, how to install Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so you're supposed to install Illustrator much earlier, right? All right. So, uh, may I know uh, how many haven't installed or it's already installed? Can you just uh, type in the chat box, already installed and haven't installed? Okay, okay. Okay, crack ke, trial ke, doesn't matter lah. Okay, ke. Okay, cool. So mostly already installed lah. Maybe some of you didn't notice the message. Okay, so you're supposed to uh, install uh, Illustrator. So because we're going to do a hands-on uh, practice later. All right. So, okay, let me just uh, get started with this thing. Okay, so the moment you click new document, right? Okay, you have a, a few options here. First of all, the document size. Okay, if you look at the width and the height, okay, over here, this will be your uh, size. Okay, depends on you are doing your design for what purpose. Okay, so for example, if you are doing for printing purpose, you are doing a magazine cover or business card, okay, whatever related to printing, okay, you need to set the, the width and height according to this uh, inches, centimeter, or centimeter. 
Okay, but when it comes to digital media, like you want to send through WhatsApp, you want to post it in a website, then you, you need to choose a pixel. All right, because uh, when it comes to screen, okay, the unit will become pixel. All right, so it depends on what you are creating the artwork for. Or you can also choose from on top here, you will see a mobile, web, print. Okay, if you click on any option here, you will have more options, more different sizes that you can choose. All right. Okay, the sizes is number one. Okay, let's say for example, I'm, I'm ready, uh, going to create a logo, right? Okay, let's say I just put a web, for example. And then I choose a web large 1920-1080. I click here. The moment you click, it will be changed here, updated here. And then you have a unique pixel. And then orientation, whether you want it to be a portrait or a landscape. Okay, and then you have artboard. Okay, artboard is something like pages. Okay, so like uh, when we type in Microsoft Word, right, you have page one, page two, page three. Okay, same like PowerPoint, you have page one, page two, uh, slide one, slide two. Okay, similar to that, artboard is something like pages. Okay, it will be on different pages. Since we are going to do uh, just a simple logo, leave it as a one artboard for now. Okay, and then over here you can see bleed. Okay, bleeding is uh, normally for uh, printing. Okay, for when it comes to digital, a uh, bleeding not very important. Okay, you can leave it as zero pixel. Okay, when let's say you are doing a, a cover for a book. Okay, or maybe you want to uh, print a brochure or flyer. Okay, then you need to add some uh, bleeding for it. Okay, because when it when uh, any color comes to the edge, right? Okay, after they print, they will actually cut the papers. Okay, when they cut the papers, if you put here zero, you might be seeing a white color line at the edges. So you need to put extra here. Then later when you create artwork, right? Okay, you can actually uh, extend the, the design so that when they cut, they will cut on the color part, right? Not the exact edge because uh, when they're cutting, there be some allowance of uh, one or two millimeter, all right? So to avoid that, you need to add bleach. Okay, this is for uh, printing purpose, lah, huh? but for our logo, that, uh, no need. Okay, that's one. And then if you go down here, you can see there is a color mode RGB. Okay, if I click the advanced option here, okay, you will see RGB color. Okay, RGB color is red, green, and blue. Red, green, blue is a base color for light. Okay, so whenever you create design for uh, digital media, right? Okay, or uh, devices, okay, you need to put RGB because it emits light. Your screen, your monitor, it emits light. So the color mode needs to be RGB. If I click the RGB here, I have another option for CMYK. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and K for black. Okay, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. All right, so CMYK is for printing. All right, so whenever you're creating artwork for printing purpose, it should be in CMYK. Okay, what number should be the bleach? Okay, for if you're doing for printing, right, the unit will be in not pixel, but maybe let's say mm or centimeter. Mm, you put minimum five. Minimum five or some printers, they choose a three also can. Okay, but to be safe, at least 5 or 10 mm. All right, just for your information. All right, so I'm going to change back to uh, pixel here. Pixel, okay, RGB, okay, color mode. Okay, in case if I miss any question, uh, please, uh, you can unmute and let me know the question. Okay, you can stop me anytime. All right. Okay, uh, come back to CMYK. Okay, so when it is printing, okay, we'll be using uh, inks to print, right? Okay, the ink will be in CMYK uh, colors. Okay, that's why we need to change to CMYK color mode if you are doing artwork for printing. So that's why if you look at corporate companies, right? When they give uh, uh, their, their brand identity thingy, their logos will be in two different color format. One is RGB color format and another one is uh, uh, CMYK color format. So when you're doing for digital media, you need to set it to RGB. If you're doing for printing, it should be in CMYK. All right. So that is uh, about uh, color mode. So for now, I'm going to leave it as RGB. Okay. Then if you look at here, screen 72 PPI. 
Okay, so and then if I look at here, you have a 300 ppi. Okay, pixel per inch. Okay, screen resolution, default resolution is 72. Screen, any devices that we, uh, we are, is, it can be a computer monitor, it could be TV, it could be a phone. Okay, the screen resolution is 72 pixel per inch. Okay, that is the resolution. And if you look at here, there is 300 ppi here. This is normally we do it for printing purpose, not pixel, but if you have a, a, a what you call, we put it on inches, for example, they call it a DPI, dot per inch. Okay, so when it comes to printing, don't put 150, but try to use 300. 300 is the optimum size, the highest quality for printing resolution. All right. So done with that, then preview mode. You don't change anything, just leave it as it is. Then if I go to more setting, okay, the same thing, lah. Huh? okay, cancel. Okay, so these are the uh, few things that you need to take note when you are creating a design. Number one is the resolution, the width and the height, or the size of the document. Let's say you are printing a A4 magazine, okay, you need to set the unit to inches or millimeter or centimeter, then set the width and height accordingly and then if printing you need to set the bleeding and the color mode very important when you're doing for printing don't put rgb okay then the color won't be accurate okay make sure rgb and cmyk you take note on this all right then the resolution okay for this one we're going to do for screen so leave it as 72 then click on create any questions so far Any questions? Yavnish. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Guna. Huh? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Okay. Sir. Yeah, you could, learn, sir. Uh, could you could you record this session so that we can able to learn better uh, later? Uh, yes, sir. We are recording it. Okay. Thanks, Yavnish. Continue. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, so do we need to do this? Okay, uh, yes, you have to do, okay, but before you do, do you have any question? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I don't have one question, hello? Yes, sir. I don't have the raster effect in my screen. Okay, if you click on advanced option, click on the advanced option. Can you see the advanced option? Click on the advanced option, then you go to screen. Okay, if you are using a lower version of uh, Illustrator, right? Okay, maybe the the position of these uh, uh, things here may be slightly different. Okay, basically this is resolution. The raster effects actually resolution. If you look at the older version of uh, Illustrator, maybe CS6 or whatever, maybe they write that uh, resolution. Uh, any other uh, question? I have a yeah. question. So uh, you say the yes, Ritesh. So, uh, so for the resolution, ah, uh, so you mm -hmm. say that the the three hundred ppi is just for printing, but higher the resolution, the higher the quality, right? Um. Okay. For okay. When you are doing an artwork, you should know for what purpose you are creating the artwork. Okay, you should okay. decide first. Okay, let's say for example, like logo. Okay, one more thing. Illustrator is a vector-based software. Vector means whatever design you create in Illustrator, you can enlarge it however big you want. Okay. Clear? Clear, clear. Okay, but if you look at Photoshop or photograph, right? We take photo using your camera or phone, right? That one, you cannot enlarge as big as you want. It yeah. depends on your resolution. Yep. Okay, but vector base, no need. Okay, you can enlarge it as big as you want. Like for example, you are going to create a logo, right? That logo, you can put it on a, a billboard. You can put it on a business card also. Okay. So right? Uh, no, sir. Sir? Yes, uh, Mahindran. Uh, sir, I don't have the advanced options. Okay, can you see the resolution or not? 
Where is it, sir? Uh, uh, okay, you don't have advanced option. Okay, you need to set this thing. Uh, can you see this uh, preset details? Okay, yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. If you look, click on more setting, okay, the interface will be slightly different. Uh, yeah. Okay, here also you can change your uh, raster effect or the resolution. So I don't have more settings. Uh, advanced also don't have, more also don't have. Advanced got, but I cannot click. Cannot click. Okay, how come? Okay. Uh, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to File, New. Okay, the moment you click File, New, right, you should be able to see all this. Uh, got it or not? Yeah, that was good. Okay, if you go to uh, More Setting, okay, you can change the resolution over here. <coughs> Can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now can, sir. Okay, now can. Huh? All right, great. Sir, I okay. have a question. Yes. Uh, you said in the beginning that 300 PPI is for printing and 72 is for web, is it? Yeah, How about yeah. 150 PPI? Okay, 150, you can use it for uh, printing also, can. Okay. It's a slightly lower version, but still acceptable, 150. So where when we can decide whether we can, we want to choose between three hundred or 150, 150 when we want to do printing. Okay, generally it is three hundred. Okay, most of the printing books, magazine, flyer, three hundred. When it comes to banner bunting, you can put hundred fifty. Okay, billboard you can put hundred fifty. Uh, but then billboard also. Is uh, okay as I what I heard from the printing guy from the billboard guys. They said one over ten also should be fine. Okay, that means billboard when you put actual size right, you reduce up to ten times smaller than the actual size. Can you understand? Uh, I have a question, sir. Yeah. Once I create this setting and I do my work, can I alter the setting after I've created the setting? I mean, yes, can I edit can. it? Can, sir. Can. Can, eh? So that means if I choose the wrong one and later I find it doesn't work out, I still have the chance to work out. Yes, yes, can. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, so I want you to create a, 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 a document using this resolution 19201080 okay this resolution is uh, most of the devices using this resolution we call it full hd okay when you buy tv they put their full hd ultra hd and all that right okay this is full hd size okay and then unit is pixel bleed zero rgb uh, make sure the color mode is rgb and screen resolution 72 Okay, all this, actually, you don't have to change. The moment you choose a template from the top here, right? If you choose mobile or web, this, all this will be automatically RGB and 72 DPI. All right. When it goes to printing, for example, I go to print, I click A4 size. You can see from here, it has size. Okay, I just need to change my size here 21 29.7 bleed i need to set 5 millimeter or 0 0.5 cm if i look at here automatically it becomes cmyk 300 ppi uh, can i have a question yes sir so let's since we're doing for digital right so yep. the resolution comes to 72 so what happened if i choose 300 would it be any different uh it will be bigger Later on, when you export the image, right, it will be bigger. Uh, so for digital, it's always stick to 72, although... Yes. Okay. Correct. Thanks. All right. So, sir, the raster, the raster effects are for the size and the, like the width and the height resolution is the quality. Uh, no. The width and the height is the size. Okay. okay. The raster effect, this will be determine your quality. But, but at the same time, 
when you are working with the illustrator which is a vector base this one yeah. doesn't matter actually until you export to a, a raster image format like jpeg uh, like a png yeah, okay? Yeah. okay then only it will affect mm. if you save as illustrator file eps file then no issues this one no issues so uh so uh let's say if i change my width and height resolution to 1280p and 720p so my quality will be lower right or the size will be the lower size is lower not quality size so the quality will be the same uh refer to the rest of effects okay where you want to use your design okay come back to the basic question where you want to use your design like a uh, billboard business card something like that billboard you cannot use this size you need to change to centimeter or inches then you change the size according to whatever billboard size and then you divide by 10 oh uh, okay if you want to do name card you change this to a centimeter or millimeter you change your size here oh okay okay all right if you are doing a slide for example a presentation slide then you choose a, a pixel then you use your screen size screen size as i told you use 19201080 this is a common size full hd size mm -hmm. okay sir okay. Yeah, thank you very much okay you can go with 4k uh, also is it yes Okay, also can. If I go to uh, uh, film and video, okay, I have 4K Ultra HD, I have a HD TV, 8K Full HD, and all that. Oh, cool, cool. Thanks. Okay. Sure. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm Misha Zana. Sorry uh, for just joining. Yes. Um, yes. May I ask the question that uh, for the logo creation, mm -hmm. the, uh, the width, uh, the standard width, and the height. Um, supposed to be one one two eight zero and seven two zero. Is it? Ah uh, no, it is not a standard size. This is not a standard size for logo. Logo when you are creating a logo, it can be any size. But ideally, okay. the best is. Ah, uh, there is no ideal because why? Because why? Mm -hmm. Logo you can uh, put it anywhere, right? Yeah. Later on, when we. Uh, design the logo. Maybe your logo is a uh, is a landscape type. Maybe a square type. Maybe a circle type, right? Mm -mm. So when you do that, this one not relevant anymore. Why I'm putting one nine two zero? Because this is the a screen resolution. That's why I put this. This is not a fixed rule, huh? I just want you to just follow along with me. That's why I ask you to do this. Clear? Sorry, I'm just coming. Come again? I'm sorry that I just able to come in. Ah, ah no, 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 no issues. Okay, if you don't like this resolution, right, you can put it a square size also can. Let's say I put that 2,000 pixel by 2,000 pixel also can. All right. Uh, and you must remember, we are not, we haven't created an image yet. We are just creating a logo. Okay. So when it comes to logo, as I told you, you can enlarge it however big you want. So you create and you keep first. Later on, when you want to apply that to other places, like for example, you want to put it on a letterhead, you want to put it on a t-shirt, you want to put it on a billboard, then only you will create another document and then you put your logo inside that document. Yes, the bigger resolution, the higher capacity needed. If if you are uh, doing uh, some effects and you are placing some images, yes, bigger resolution need bigger capacity means the computer lah need to be powerful. The RAM need to be high. The graphic card need to be good. Okay, for standard logo printing for T-shirt, what is the default size? or height and width okay same thing again okay logo can be the document size for the logo itself can be any size but when you are putting the logo into the t-shirt right then only the t-shirt size matters how to open illustrator okay that one that one how you open normal software lah, huh? you go to start and then you find for adobe illustrator 
Okay, any other questions? No question. Shall we proceed? Yeah, I yeah, can cancel, cancel. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna put uh, 1920, 1080, and then pixel, no bleeding, RGB, 72 uh, DPI. Then create, click on create. Okay, the moment you click create here, okay, sorry, my mistake. I go to web, I go to click here, and then da, da, da. Okay, so now I'm going to close all this panel here. If uh, if your UI is different, let's say for example your layer panel and then whatever panel is not in the right position, right? Okay, what you can do is you go to window, okay, you go to workspace, okay, and then you can choose uh, any one of it. Let's say for example essential and then reset essential. Okay, so it will arrange back all your panels as default. Okay, not like mine. Uh, okay, thank Chris. Okay, I, I, I will finish one small topic, then you can ask question, all right? Okay, so we already created a document now. Okay, so before we start to create anything, we need to know how to use the tools, right? Okay, number one important tool is over here. The, the black color arrow there, it says selection tool. And then in bracket, you can see there is a V there. V is the shortcut. Wherever you can see a bracket with the alphabet, that is a shortcut. If you press V, it will choose this uh, tool. And then if I press A, it will go to the next one. If I press P, it will go to the next one. Pen tool, for example. Okay, and then I have rectangle tool and then I have a ellipse tool and all that. Okay, so number one, selection tool. Okay, why selection tool is very important? Because uh, whenever you use other tools, right? For example, this example, just watch first, you don't do anything. Let's say I, I click my rectangle tool here, I draw, okay? You can see my cursor here, currently the rectangle tool is still active. If I click anywhere, it will create another rectangle, 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 okay? So the selection tool, I'm gonna to undo back. The selection tool, how it works is, when I click the selection tool, one is I'm using the selection tool now, another one is I'm exiting from the other tools. For example, this rectangle tool. First you click, you draw, now I need to exit from that tool. So I need to click back the selection tool. Okay, always remember selection tool, there is two function there. One is to select object. Another one is to exit from other tools. Okay, please remember. First is to select object. Number two is to exit from other tools. And the third one is to move object. Okay, I can use my selection tool. I can actually move my object. All right, okay, that is selection tool. I'm going to delete first. Okay, and then under the uh, selection tool, you will see direct selection tool. If you put your cursor over the tool, you will see direct selection tool. If I click and hold that direction, uh, direct selection tool, I have more option. Group selection tool, lasso tool. Okay, same thing, wherever you see there is a small arrow pointing down, okay, if you click and hold, you'll find more tools. If you click and hold, okay, wherever there is an arrow, you click and hold that tool, you will get more tools. Okay, so for now, just for practice purpose, I want you to create some rectangle shape. Okay. Just create some rectangle shape and then you use your selection tool to move it around, just to move it around. Okay, you can see when I'm moving it, I'm clicking at the middle here, the blank space here. Okay, for example, this is a black color now. Okay, you will see there is some points there, don't click there now yet, just move around so that you can familiar with your selection tool. Okay, you can click and then move. Okay, if you want to deselect, you just click outside at the blank space at the white color area. Okay, click, it will deselect. If you click again, 
you have a bounding box there, the blue color box. That means that object has been selected. Understand? Understand, sir. Okay. Got it, sir. Got it. Any question on this one? No, no, no. Do you think you can do it? Can, sir. Yeah, yeah, I can. I understand. Uh, so, I have an issue with the layout like this. How to make it like a white color? Okay, I think you have added a more artboard there. Artboard. The background, the background. I don't know. It started a new document. But new document. Artboard. Make sure zero. Uh, one. Sorry, one artboard. Any other question so far? My rectangle is white color. I don't have black background like yours. Do I need to select anything? Your rectangle shape is white color, is it? Yeah. Okay. I think the field the is white. Yeah. We are, okay, are you need to select your object. And then can you see the, the colors here? There is a black and then with, with a stroke there. Okay, click on the black color here. Or in case yours is, should be white color, click on the white color here, double click. Okay, and then change the color to something else. Can you try that? So, refer to the question just now, how I change the artboard to one. Uh? When you go to new, file, new. Oh, then may I just start over again, all right. Yes, file, new, artboard, choose one. Okay, all right, thanks. Sir, don't see the two list on the left side. Why is that so? Uh, come again, 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 please. Your line is on the breaking. screen. I can see the. Uh, no, I can see the uh, the screen, but I don't see the list of tool, the small small icon on the left side of the screen. Then what do you have on the left? It's totally empty. I can see okay. the AI on the top and uh, mm -hmm. the whole row is empty. Empty. And then on the right hand side? On the right hand side, there is a, a toolbox where it shows um, properties, layer, libraries, um, and the options is available. Okay. Okay. So what you do easy way, let's say you accidentally close. La. For example, I close this. Uh, where is my close? Okay. Let's say I closed it, right? Okay. And now I don't have right. So you go to window, you go to workspace, and then you go to reset essential. Window, workspace, and essential. Reset essential. Reset essential. Okay. I have clicked Any? that. Got it? Still Nothing. no. Nothing happened. Okay, you try to maximize your, your screen view. Can you see there is uh, a, on the top right hand side corner, uh -huh. there is a, one is close and then there is another one is a maximize, a restore. Yes. Uh, try to click that. Uh, now, uh, when I go bring my small cursor to the middle box, it's restore. So you want me to click on the restore? Okay. No, it's, it's already, already be on the... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, it's already on the okay. full screen. You try to go to window, you go to oh. toolbar, okay, and then you go to, uh, sorry, uh, not toolbar. Um, let's see, tools, tools, tools. You choose uh, basic or advanced, try to exchange between these two. Try to click advanced. Try to click advance. Uh, where should I click the advance? Window, toolbar, advance. Window, toolbars. Okay, now at the moment the tick is at basic. So I should click on the advance. Yes, yes. Okay, ah, I found it. It's there. Okay, so thank maybe you. it's hidden somewhere. I don't know. All right. All right, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have seen how to use the selection tool. 
Uh, okay, there is a question. Mine, I put on automation. Okay, what automation? I don't know. All right, never mind. Okay, so you can actually create an object using a rectangle tool. Okay, click and drag to draw and then use your selection to move it around, number one. Okay, on the whenever you select an object, right, you have few things going on here. Number one is uh, you, can, you can see the box here, the most outer, there is a nine points there. Okay, those points actually for you to resize. Okay, you can click at the corner and then you can click and drag. Okay, you can click at the sides here. When you bring cursor over, you will see double arrow there. When you see double arrow, you click and drag. Okay, you go top, you see double arrow, you click and drag. At the corner also same. If you want to scale it proportionate, right? Let's say for example, I draw a rectangle shape. Let's say I delete this. I go to rectangle shape. I press shift and then click and drag. You see, it become a square shape, not rectangle. When you click shift and drag, it become a square shape, okay? So let's say I want to maintain this a square shape. Whenever I want to rescale, right? I bring my cursor to the corner and then I press shift and then drag, okay? Bring your cursor to the corner, click, shift, and then drag. Okay, so that you get it proportionate, number one. Okay, so then after that, you will see there is a small a circle there. Okay, when you bring your cursor over, okay, your cursor, you will see a small curve as well. When you click and drag that, you will make your object rounded. All the corners become rounded corners. You can click and drag this. Okay, that is to make your object rounded. Okay, it could be any object. All right, so you select first and then bring your cursor to the, this uh, uh, small circle here and then click and drag to make it rounded shape. Clear so far? Can you bring it again? My, my line just lagged over there. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, the rounded part is it? So yeah. Okay, so you select the object using your selection tool, which is the black color arrow. And then you can see there is a small, small circle here at the corners. You click that circle and then you drag. It will make your object rounded shape. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Okay, so, okay, so selecting object and then modify using this uh, corner here. This one, we call it a bounding box. And then to move, you click at the empty space where there is no icons, nothing. You click and drag to move it. All right. Then you will see there is a small, small points here. You click and drag, it become a rounded shape. Okay. So we are done with our selection tool. Okay. After this, we have another one is the white color arrow, direct selection tool. If I click on direct selection tool, okay, and then I select any object, okay, now the selection is slightly different. I don't see the nine dots just, as just now, all right? So this direct selection tool, what it does, it edit the component. Component means we have an anchor point here. Can you see when I bring uh, my cursor over to the uh, corner here, it says anchor, okay? That anchor, when I click and drag, sorry, okay, when I click and drag, I'm actually moving only that point. Okay, I can reshape my object to another shape using this direct selection tool. For example, I want to make it triangle, maybe something like this. Okay, so you can use your direct selection. You see, whenever I created a rounded shape, right, I have more anchor point. I can click the anchor point and then I drag. I can click the anchor point and then I drag. Bring your cursor, make sure you click on the anchor point, not on the line here. Click on the anchor point and then you drag. Okay, so when you have a curved object, right, now you see, if uh, this rectangle shape, when I click, I don't see anything. It becomes straight line. Okay, when I move it, it becomes straight line. But when I have a curvy shape, I click and drag. 
it also become curvy. And plus, I have this handle here. Okay, this is your curves tangent. We call it tangent. Okay, this handle is actually a tangent of the curve. All right. So you can click and drag, and then you can click and drag the handle to reshape to uh, something else. Okay, so let's say I just simply click, and then I click and drag. Okay, click and drag. This one, click and drag. Click and drag. Okay. Can you can you please uh, try this one out? I, I can't get the handle. Okay, that's because your object is not rounded. You use your selection tool, number one, select your object, okay, and then you go to the corner here. Okay, now, because I already edited the anchor point, I don't see the corner here. If I create a new rectangle shape, okay, I use my selection tool, then I click and drag to make it a rounded shape. Then, when I use my direct selection tool, okay, I have that handle. Clear? Can you just try out, create something, some weird stuff here? Okay, got it. Create. Rectangle and then click and drag to make it rounded and then use your direct selection tool. Okay, I just move here, move here. Okay, I just Sir, I cannot moving. make it rounded. Cannot make it rounded. No need to cry, okay? All right, so you use your selection tool. You see, I have a rectangle shape. Use your selection and then you see when you use click the uh, selection tool, you see small dots here. You have to click and drag. The small... Sir, I, sir, I don't have small dots, sir. Uh, what version are you using? Uh... The trial version, is it? Yeah. Uh, should have actually. Should have. Did you click the selection tool? Yes. Okay, do you have the nine dots here, the box? Yeah. When, got Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, can you try to create another rectangle shape? You delete everything, you select the object and then you press delete in your keyboard. Then use your rectangle shape, draw a new one and then click on the selection tool. Then you will be able to see. Okay, sir. Try now. Uh, so I have a question, so can I ask? Yeah, sure. So, so when I clicked my my mouse cro uh, crosser on the anchor, but it's like moving the whole uh, rectangle. So is there... You are using your direct selection tool, is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, just take a look, guys. Okay, so sometimes when you use your uh, direct selection tool, when you click and drag your anchor point, everything is moving, right? Right. Exactly, Minus exactly, sir. Okay, something like this, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. because all your anchor point is selected. I see. Okay, okay so when your all your anchor point is selected, when you move, it will move the entire thing. So what do you do? You deselect first. How do you deselect? You click at the empty space outside here. Click first so that there is no blue color line. Then you bring your cursor over until it says anchor. Then you click and drag. All right, now it works. Thanks. Okay, great. So, uh, you accidentally mute your fire. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, any, uh, any question? Did you manage to to? Still not working for me, sir. The not working. Thing. Yeah, the anchor things are working. Uh, not working means what? I just, uh, as you say, I just unselect it and I move my crosshair until I saw the anchor. When I pull it and uh, when I drag it out, it's the whole, the whole shape is moving, the whole thing is moving. Are you using direct selection or selection tool? 
uh, are uh, okay let me check that sorry okay sometimes when you accidentally double click right okay it will be yeah. selecting your object you need to double click back at the empty space here wherever there is an empty space no object you double click back i got it sir thank you so much sir okay Okay, so clear, right, everyone? Yep, pretty uh, clear. Okay, sir, how so. to delete the square? Okay, you use your selection tool. Huh? You click outside first, then click back until you can see the blue color box. Huh? Then you delete. Delete in your keyboard. There is a delete button in your keyboard, right? Yeah. Yeah, press that. Okay, sir. Is it gone? Okay. Okay, we're going to do some some uh, better shapes lah, huh, now. Okay, if you click and hold your rectangle shape, you will be able to see more tools here. Rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, star tool, flat tool. Okay, so I want you to create an ellipse tool. Okay, ellipse tool. And then... Create a circle, a circle, not an ellipse. I want a circle. Can you do that? Sir, can you please repeat that again, sir? Yes. Okay. You click and hold your rectangle tool. Click and hold your rectangle tool. You will you go and choose your ellipse tool. And then I want you to create a, a circle. Click and drag. But when I click and drag, it becomes ellipse, right? I don't want ellipse. I want circle. So what do you do? Like this, is it? Shift key, right? Is it? Yes, you press shift key. Okay, you press shift key and then you drag. Got it. Okay, and then after that, I want you to change the color of the object. Okay, to change color, there are a few ways. One of the ways, when you select an object, right, you will see there is a fill color and stroke color. If you mouse over here, it says fill. If you mouse over at the back here, it says stroke. Okay, so choose the fill color, double click, and then choose a different color. Okay, you need to click two times. One, you select from here, this bar, the colorful bar, and then you choose again the darkness of the color. So I have a question. Uh, just yeah. Now, uh, you, you taught us how to use, create a round shape from an eclipse. I realized that actually at the square shape, by uh, modifying the angle, we also can end up uh, in a round shape also. So are they the same thing? No, no, not same, not same. Okay. So any impact, you know, when we do, you know, further processing of two different methods? Um, yes, there is. Okay, because a rectangle tool, when you adjust the, the roundness, right, you will have two anchor points over here. The rectangle too. So how but did you make it circle, sir? You press shift and drag, click and drag. While pressing shift, click and drag. Okay, sir. So uh, I have an additional question. So if you look at... Uh, Ritesh, yes. So can you hear me? Uh, again? Uh, so, sir, for the... Uh, so we did for the square, like we just click at the anchor and we just drag it so we can make it as any shape. Mm -hmm. So I just realized that we can do it on a circle too. But the thing is, is there anything that we can make it as the the anchor dragging as the same angle? Is there any measurements or like any key binds to make it equal or? Uh, which angle equal? Uh, like, okay, for, for example, so, so I'm dragging my left and right anchor to up so i want to make it uh, look as the same so is there anything like for a... 
Okay, okay, for example, okay, let me just show you guys. Okay, let's say I have this. I use my direct selection tool. Okay, earlier I showed you how to move one and then move one and then move one, right? Okay, so what you can do is, if let's say I want to move this up and then this one also, I want to move it up. If I move it slowly, right, you will get a smart guide. Okay, so let me see. Can I see the smart guide here? Okay, I don't see. Okay, let's say uh, something like this. Lah. Let's say something like this. I want the bottom line to be the same level, right? Okay, so what I do, I select both anchor point at the same time. I choose my direct selection tool. I click and drag, draw a window around these two anchor point. Okay, and then okay. I click the path and then I just move it up. When I move up, you see it's it's going to the side, right? I want it to move straight. So I yeah. press shift. While pressing shift, move it up. Something like that. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so that's one. And then let's say I want it to move it to a certain point over here. Okay. So here we don't have any specific guide, right? So if I move here also, there is no indication here how much I need to move. So if that happens, you need to put some, some uh, object as your reference. Okay, so you need to create an object here, create an object here, then you move it. Okay, sir. Got it, thank you very much. Okay. Sir? Yeah. Can I zoom in this page? Yes, control and zero. Not O, uh, zero. Control and zero. To zoom in, to zoom out, you press Control plus, Control minus. Okay, Control and minus, you zoom out. Control and plus, you zoom in. Control and zero, you zoom everything. You fit to your screen. All the scroll wheel also can zoom in, zoom out, right? All scroll wheel. Yes, yes, you may. Thank you so much. Okay, circle done. So I have a question on color. Yep. Can uh can we change the color by using eyedrop tool? Which means we have some reference, some uh yes, color that we don't know the code. Can you show it to us? Thank you. Um okay, can, can I show you that later? Uh, sure, sure. Okay. okay, just remind me in case I've forgotten. Uh, uh, I'll, sure. I'll tell you later the color part. Sir, I can't create the circle. May I know why? Uh, uh, when I am dragging, uh, the circle not coming. You must click on the ellipse tool. Ellipse tool. Click on the ellipse tool first. Then only you click and drag. Mm. Ellipse tool. Yep. But it's not coming. How come? Okay, let's see. Hmm. See? Can you see mine? Yes. I click on the ellipse tool and then click and drag. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, so after you have done circle, right? Okay, let's say I want to make a, a thin line here. Instead of a solid uh, a circle, I want a thinner line only. Inside the middle part, I want it to be empty. All right, so what I do, I apply stroke for it. Instead of fill, I apply stroke. Okay, how do we change that? If you look at here, you have a appearance. Okay, you can use this also. Or you can go to open your color panel or stroke panel. Okay, there are a few ways actually. There is, you can access from here, number one, number two, and number three is from your window. You go to choose color. Okay, if I choose color, right, I'll able to see there is a fill color and stroke color at the bottom. I need to put a none for the fill color. Okay, make sure the fill color is above the stroke. Then you choose none. None over here, the one with the red color cross, and then click the stroke color, 
click the stroke color and then choose different color. Like let's say maybe black. Then when I click outside, I can see a stroke there. So inside it is empty. And then what I do, I increase the stroke width. I select the circle, I go to window, I go to stroke. Okay, shortcut is control F10 and then you increase the stroke width. Or you can see, can you see the appearance here? Stroke, there is one point. You can also change here and also you can change here. It's the same thing. Can you do it? Uh, sir, can you repeat? Yeah. Okay, I have a circle. Okay, and then uh, my originally, the fill color is applied. Okay, the fill color, this is fill color and this is stroke color. So what I can do is I can also swap the color. Swap fill and stroke. Click that. Now I have a green color stroke. And then I want to increase the stroke width. Select the object and then go to increase the stroke width from appearance or the stroke panel. Stroke panel, you can get it from window stroke. You increase this point. Just keep on increasing. Did you manage to do it? Uh, sir, can you please uh, 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 tell me back how you do like this? Because I'm... Uh, cakap Melayu, Melayu je, boleh? Okay. Uh, sir, boleh tak tolong uh, tunjukkan semula macam mana nak buat benda ni? Sebab saya tadi saya terkeluar. Oh, okay. Yang benda ni, bulat ni, line ni? Ya, betul. Ya, betul. Okay, so katakan... Alright. First of all, we have the circle, right? Circle, kita dah create circle, but then circle, kita ada fill color. Okay, but then now I don't want the fill color, I want only the stroke. Okay, I want only the stroke. So what I do, there are a few ways. One of the way I change from here. I click the fill color and then I click at none, pangkah sini. And then I click at the stroke color, nampak? The stroke color, it came above the fill color. Alright, when the stroke comes above the fill color, then you apply the color. Okay, if I double click, I can change to a different color. Okay, and then I increase the stroke width. Stroke width, you can change it from appearance here by default. If you don't have this, you can open the stroke panel. Stroke panel to open, you go to window, stroke. Okay, and then increase. Okay. Is it done, guys? Ah, uh, saya tak dapat. Saya punya tak boleh ya, sir. Macam ni kan tadi. Ah, uh, okay. Saya dah buat yang ah uh, yang putih ni tadi. Dah stroke kan uh -huh. dia. Lepas tu saya dah tekan balik yang dekat uh, stroke X, dia, dia ada X ni. Mm -hmm. Okay, lepas tu uh, saya dah ada stroke panel ni. Mm -hmm. Okay, lepas tu macam mana nak jadikan dia? Ni, weight ni. Tambah yang ni. Oh, tambah weight dia berapa berapa point? 100. Kata, Katakan yang cuba 100. Tak boleh juga. 100 tapi you kena ada color lah dekat stroke ni, stroke panel ada, uh, color panel ada tak? Ada, ada, ada color panel. Uh, dekat stroke ni ada color tak? Ada, ada warna biru juga. Biru. Hey, how come? Macam-macam uh, you punya color lah. Dah select tak? Objek tu dah select ke belum? Ah, uh, uh, you share your screen? Easier to see. Okay, but then uh, I don't want to share screen because it will take some time actually. You put up. Uh, 
I try, I try dulu. No, you you need to select your object. Kalau you tak select object, you letak color biru dekat stroke pun tak jadi. You have to use your selection tool. You need to select your object. Select means you ada box color biru. That means the object is selected. So how do you add the pixel out of the current box? Because mine is adding in the box only, doesn't come out. Uh, okay, you mean the the stroke is inside the box? Okay? Yes. Uh, yours uh, is partially in the center, you see, but mine is only going towards inner. You see, yeah. Okay, sir, dah dapat dah. Alright, great. Okay, doesn't matter actually. Okay, not an issue, ah, guys. Sir. Alright. So whether whether the bounding mode is in the middle or it's outside doesn't matter, and try to increase the stroke width and then you check. Plus, I have a question here. Increase the stroke width. Plus, I have a question here. Yeah. Okay, from the beginning, from the rectangle, how to bring up to as a circle, as a. You click and hold the rectangle tool, the rectangle tool, right? You click and hold, click and hold. You'll Hi. able to see ellipse tool. Yeah. Then so you click on press the... right click. Come again. I can press right click. Why you want to press right click? I didn't ask you to press right click. I said click and hold, left click. Click and hold. Just click. Left click, click and hold. Then choose ellipse, click and drag to draw. Okay. Done? Everyone done? Answer. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Answer. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, let's say. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let's say I want to cut part of the circle. Okay, maybe I want to use a three quarter only. Okay, the quarter part here, I want to remove it. Let's say. Okay, so what I can do is I can use a few ways here. Okay, one of the way is uh, to use Pathfinder. Okay, or another way is I can use a scissor here. Uh, where is my scissor? Okay. Can you see the scissor tool here? Okay, there is a, I think this call is eraser. If you click and hold, you will see a scissor. Shortcut is C. If I click the C uh, key in my keyboard, I will get my scissor tool. I bring my cursor near to the circle, near to the uh, anchor point, and then I just click. And then I bring my cursor to the other anchor point, and then I click. So what happened here, you see, my selection now is over here. Here, there is no selection at the moment. So I use back my selection tool, select the smaller area here, and I can delete. Can? Can you repeat again? Can, sir. Yes, yes, I repeat again one more time. Oh, sorry, I undo back. Okay. Select the object first. And then you use your scissor tool. Scissor tool, you just press C. Okay, so currently my selection tool is active, right? B is a selection tool. If I press C in my keyboard, I get my scissor tool active. Okay, and then bring your cursor near to the object, to the anchor point, click, and then bring it to the another anchor point, then just click. So you already cut. So after you cut, you need to remove it, right? So to remove, you use back your selection tool, click the part that you want to remove, then press delete in your keyboard. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, great. Uh, all okay? Guys? Sir? Yes. Mine goes the other way around. Mine three quarters were deleted, only quarter left. You need to select the quarter part. You need to select the quarter, then only you delete. And now how okay. do I undo, sir? Okay, control Z. To undo, you press control and Z together. Undo, oh. undo, 
Okay, until you don't delete, then you use your selection tool. You click at the quarter that you want to remove. Click first. Okay, you can you see the box here? That means okay. that part has been selected. Then you press delete. Clear? But when I click, it says please use the scissors tool to segment or anchor point, not on end point. Okay, means means you didn't click on the line. Okay, so I undo back. Okay, if I use my scissor tool, right? If I don't click on the line, it will get this message. Please uh -huh. use the scissor tool on a segment. Segment means the part, the line. You need to click on the anchor point. Bring your cursor to the anchor point until you see the word anchor. Then only you click. You bring okay. your cursor to the anchor point until you see the word anchor, then you click. Then confirm already cut. Use back your selection tool, click at the first quarter here. Then you press delete. Oh, okay. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Um, is there an, uh, how to use the pathfinder? Pathfinder. Uh, later. Can we cover that later on? Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Okay. Done, sir. Thank you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, okay, instead of uh, the first quarter we already removed, uh, anyone else got problem with removing this quarter? Sir, I don't find. Don't find what? I couldn't find the Caesar icon. Caesar. The Caesar's icon. You hmm. press C. You press C in your keyboard. Just press C in your keyboard. Got it? C for Caesar. Not S for Caesar. C for Caesar. Did you manage to get it? How's here? Okay, should be now, huh? Anyone else? Got any issues? Guys? Mine's okay. still loading up for some okay, reason. Sir. Still loading, okay. <laughs> loading means far away. The sir. screen says please use the Caesar tool on a segment. <clears throat> okay, you click on the Caesar tool, right? You bring your cursor near to the line until it says anchor point. Okay, can you see the anchor on my screen? Can you see on my screen anchor? Then only you click. You don't click outside of the line. Then you will get this error message. Okay? You need to click on the line, on the path, or the anchor point. Okay, click, click, and then you delete. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make this line straight here. Okay, so means if you if you still remember, this is actually a stroke, correct? This is a stroke with a very, uh, uh, the, uh, the stroke width is quite high now. That's why you can see the thickness, all right? So we're going to draw a straight line to connect these two points. All right, so what I do, I use my pen tool, okay? You press P for pen, P for pen, or you can click from here, pen tool. And then you bring your cursor to the end of the line here until you see anchor. Click, and then I bring my cursor, okay, to the right until I can see intersect, then I click. Then I bring my cursor down, until I see another anchor, then I click. You are done. Then click back your selection tool. Repeat, please. 
Yes. Okay. Use pen tool. Okay. P for pen. You just type P in your keyboard. You will get pen tool. And then bring your cursor until you can see anchor. Then you click. Then bring your cursor to the right until you see intersect. Okay, all this uh, purple color line is actually a guide for you. It's a, they call it a small, uh, smart guide. Okay, so just to indicate that you are aligning with other objects. All right, so when it shows uh, uh, intersect, you click. Then you bring your cursor down until you see the anchor point there. Click on the anchor. Okay, so if you click back your selection, you're actually done. So once again, repeat, sir. You click the pen tool. Okay. Bring your cursor near to the end of the circle here. When you see anchor only, you click. If you don't see anchor, you don't click. If you accidentally click when you don't see the anchor, right? For example, uh, let me show you. I choose my pen. Okay. I don't see my anchor. I click. Okay. And then I bring my cursor here. I click. And then I bring down, I don't see my anchor, I click. So what happened here, it won't be joined together. All right. So you need to see the anchor text, then only you click. All right. You bring your cursor until you see the anchor, you click. Then move it to the right click and then see anchor again, you click. Then click back your selection tool. Can? Sir, for me, I uh, didn't show the text uh, anchor one. Come again. For me, it didn't show the, the text the anchor. anchor one. Uh. Uh, how about the purple color line? Which one, sir? Purple color line? You see, whenever I, I click, right? Okay, can you see that? Whenever I move my cursor, I can see my purple color line. Yeah. Do you have that? It's, uh, no. Okay, so you go to view, you go to okay. click okay. smart guides. Is it checked? Oh yeah, smart guide. Okay, okay. got it. Check the smart guide, then you will be able to see the purple color line, the anchor text, and all that. If let's say the the two point doesn't um, join, mm -hmm. uh, which button to press? Okay, if it doesn't join, right, you need to remove that line and then draw back another one. Better. So how to remove? Okay, how to remove? One way is you press undo, control Z, or you press minus in your keyboard. Okay, so let me just undo back. Okay, let's say my these two line it doesn't join, right? Let's say one of the line join lah. Okay, one line join, another line doesn't join, right? So what you can do is you remove this point. To remove, I press minus in my keyboard. Press minus in my keyboard, you will get this tool here. Delete anchor point two. So I remove this part, and then I draw back using my pen tool. Click and click something like this okay thank you get us hello sir yep okay from the beginning uh, the circle but mine is, uh, is uh, the whole don't hold the uh, circle is a uh, coloring sir, with the already coloring mm -hmm. you need to select your object and then you go to color panel. Okay. Okay, do you have the color panel? Where is that? Uh, color. Hello, sir. Uh, yes. Yes, it goes on the line. So how about if I want to erase back the, the I just now I draw one. Uh, which one? The, the L-shape one. The? The L-shape. 
the from L the circle. Shape. Uh, yeah. Okay, the L shape, it doesn't connect, is it? Yeah. Okay, so let's say you want to erase back the L shape. Okay, for example, I use my pen tool. It doesn't connect. Something like this, is it? Yeah, yeah. You use your selection tool, click on the L shape, you press delete. Uh, Kandi, yes. You have okay, uh, under the pen tool, right? Mm -hmm. So once I've uh, clicked at the anchor and I drag it, mm -hmm. all right, uh, you see there should be something called intersect, but I couldn't find something like that. Okay, you don't click and drag. Huh? Okay, mm -hmm. I click on the pen tool. I okay. click here. Something like this, is it? Anchor. Yes. You don't see the anchor, is it? No, I can see the anchor. Okay, click, and then you move your cursor to the right until move. You see? No, I couldn't find the intersect. It's uh, not popping up. Okay, try again. Try to move it in straight line. If I don't move it in straight line, maybe I don't get it. Okay, so try to move it in straight line. Okay, try to move around your 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 mouse cursor. Okay. Uh, Did you manage to? No. I mean, no. uh, I can just. Uh, I mean, usually the line should be clear, straight line. If it is straight, right? Yeah. Shouldn't be a blurred line, right? Yep. Okay, so even if it is a straight line, I couldn't find any intersect popping up. Okay, no worries. If if you don't see the intersect, for example, let's say I I don't see intersect lah. I just simply click, and then I click back the anchor point. Okay, yep. so now I already connected, but then my line is not straight, correct? All right. Yes. Okay, the, the horizontal one also not straight, the vertical line also not straight. So what All I right. do, I use back my direct selection tool, mm -hmm. click at this point, okay. and drag. Okay, now I can align it back. Can you see that? It, it is aligning. Okay. Mm. So, let me try. You can try that? Yeah. Uh. Okay, Anything my, my... you do, you can always uh, adjust back. Okay. Uh, my, my shape is completely gone now. So. <laughs> uh, if you want to share your screen, you can click the share button there. Okay. Just, uh, no, I'm I'm on my mobile phone with my laptop on in front of me. So oh, okay. Two, two, two. I can maybe share the video probably. No, you, you can log in into two devices, so no issues. No, I mean to share you the screen, actually. So. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, are you having a look at it now? I'm looking at you. Okay, <laughs> let me have a look. Okay. okay, turn off the virtual background, then only I can see the screen. Sorry. I couldn't... Uh... Uh, sir, yes, uh, I have one question. Uh, the L shape, right? My one is uh, the shape is like a curved one. Mm -hmm. How to make it sharp? Huh? The okay, I think okay, let me just show you. Okay, I think is it something like this? Click and then click. is it like this? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this part you want to make it sharp, right? Yeah. Okay, if you click and hold your pen tool, you will see anchor point tool. Okay. Click on the anchor point tool and then click where you want to make it straight. Just click. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay, uh, shall we proceed, guys? Sir? Yes. Yes, Santosh. Can I share my screen? Uh, what is the problem? Uh, I don't know how to put the color inside the both circles. Put the color inside both circle. Okay. You must uh, okay. You must understand one thing. 
Okay, when when I say do, you must do. When I say uh, listen first, don't do anything, you must listen first. All right. So you you missed out certain things from the beginning itself. Okay. Remember, first thing when you when you create a circle, you're supposed to have a fill color only. Okay. I I I already repeat that so many times. Right, Santosh. Okay. You have to select your object and then you put a stroke and then you increase the stroke width. Okay, we actually don't put color inside, but we're actually increasing the stroke width. Stroke width, you can get it from window stroke panel. Window stroke. Okay, so in this stroke panel, you just increase the width, uh, the weight, the stroke weight. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, this part clear, guys? Clear, sir. All right, great, thank you. Okay, let's say um, we are just exercising, use, trying to use the tools now. Okay, let's say I want to do the same effect using the Pathfinder, for example. Okay, so what I can do is, let's say I'm gonna undo back. Okay, I already undo back. Let's say I want to remove this section using a pathfinder. Okay, currently this is a, a stroke actually. Okay, so we, I'm going to convert this into a shape. Okay, let me just uh, repeat back. Um, let's say I have a rectangle tool. Okay, rectangle shape here. Okay, this one is a fill color. All right, let's say I duplicate this object, the same object. How I duplicate, I use my selection and then I press alternate click and drag. I can alternate click and drag to duplicate object using selection tool. All right, alternate click and drag, you will duplicate. So I already duplicate two object. The second object, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply only stroke, no fill. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the stroke weight to let's say 50 for example, or 20 maybe. Okay, so the difference between these two, okay, the first object don't have stroke and only fill color. You can see from the color panel itself, the stroke, it put a cross there. And for this object, okay, if I select the object, you can see there is no fill color, but there is only stroke there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, another object, I'm going to duplicate this. So let's say, okay, I have three objects now. One is only fill, one is only stroke. And this one, what I'm going to do, instead of this stroke, right, this stroke format, I can actually move this anchor points. Okay, I can reshape the shape. Okay, I undo back. And if I want to change the stroke width, I can do it now. Let's say I increase the, I reduce the whatever, I can still do it. Okay, but if I convert this to a shape, I select the object, I go to object up here, and then I go to choose expand. Okay, I expand fill and stroke, and then I click OK. So here, what happened actually, this whole object, it has only fill color. Can you see that? No longer has a stroke. But this one, it has only stroke. Okay, let's say same lock, same size. Okay, so both look similar, but then it's totally different. One is stroke, one is a fill shape. When I press A for a direct selection tool, if I click and drag, I can actually select these points. Okay, all this point I can actually select and modify. But here, if I go to near to the curve, I only can select one stroke can you see the difference guys yes sir yes sir okay so in order for me to choose use the uh, uh, pathfinder okay what i do i convert first okay i convert first this circle into a shape object all right so select the object i go to object i go to expand and then i click okay so there is no more any stroke there. 
Then what I do, I draw a rectangle shape. Okay, at the moment you don't do anything. This is just for your information. I draw another rectangle shape at the size of the first quarter there. Can you see the center there? That is, I'm aligning to the center of the circle. Okay, so now these two objects is overlapping each other. Okay, let's say I change the color of this object. Okay, so my circle is below and then this one is above the circle. If I want to send to back or whatever, you still can do, but never mind, just follow along first. I'm going to select these two objects, two objects together, and then I go to Pathfinder. I go to Window and then I go to Pathfinder here. Okay, Window, Pathfinder. And then in Pathfinder here, okay, you have options here, Unite. Unite means it will join together. Okay, and then you have minus front. Whatever object which is on the front, on top of another object, it will remove. Okay, and then you have Intersect. Intersect is we just remain whatever is intersecting. Okay, for example, these two objects, the part that inter intersecting is this one, right? Okay. The one intersecting, if I click here, only this left. I undo back. If I click the second icon, minus front, it will remove whatever on top. Can? Can, sir. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't want you to do this, just for your information. Okay, I'm going to delete everything. Okay, shall we take a short break now? 10 minutes? Yes, please. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, great. Okay, sir. See you back after 10 minutes. Okay, what uh, we're going to do now is, okay, uh, have you guys uh, downloaded the files, right? Um, okay, can you choose the one? Anyone choose one, one of the images? The file that uh, I asked you all to download. I tried to download, but it didn't work for me. Didn't work. Ah. Okay. Whoever have downloaded, can you please uh, choose one file? Any file will do, or specific file? No, the one the one I asked you to download, right? Yeah. There's number there, right? Correct. Number one, number two. Ah, which one? We we try to create one. One of the logo first. If got time, then we do more. Oh, okay, okay. So I think we can go. We don't want a complex one first. Uh. Sample one. Uh. Sample logo one. Sample logo one. Okay, something like a bird one, right? Yep. All right, great. Okay, so when you are starting to create a logo, okay, so we, first of all, you need to have an idea what you're going to do. So what So please unmute the mic. Yeah, sorry. So you do a rough a sketch first, all right? So after you do a rough sketch, maybe you take a photo with your phone or whatever, you upload to your PC, and then you bring it to Illustrator, okay? How do you bring it to your Illustrator? Is by going to File, and then you go to Place, okay? Any images you want to uh, bring into Illustrator, you go to Place, File, Place, all right? So I'm going to click place here now, and then I'm going to choose my uh, logo. Okay, this is the first logo. Click place. Okay, and then it will be loaded in your cursor here, and then you need to click. Okay, after I click, it looks a bit small, so I just make it bigger. Okay, make sure when you make it bigger, right, you press shift. All right, you press shift, and then you drag. Okay, something like that. All right, so this will be our reference image, for example. Can I just like copy paste it? <clears throat> uh, no, you don't open and copy paste. Okay, that is not the standard practice way. All right, so you need to okay. go to file, place. All right, of course, easy way you open, you go to file. Okay, just to show you, uh, don't do this. Please don't do this. I can also go to open, file, open. I choose my this logo, open. I can copy here, control C, and then I go back to my previous document. I can paste it also, but don't do this. 
okay why don't do this this is not the industry standard practice no okay another thing is if i go to window if i go to link right okay you can see there is two image here one you see there is a, a polygon icon here one don't have okay this means this is embedded okay when you uh, bring in import an image into illustrator you always maintain the link you, sh you should maintain a link until you finally want to output the file you want to send for printing then only you embed when you are doing editing you don't embed means you don't do this you don't do have uh, don't uh, shouldn't have this uh, polygon shape here all right just for your information so what you need to do you go to file place when you go to file place right this image it will be as an external file okay it is when you are giving the project to somebody else you need to copy this file together with the illustrator file okay that is a standard practice so uh, if you are a beginner make sure you practice this so that you continue will be continually you'll be doing the same thing you don't do mistake okay so i already bring in my image here i want you all to do the same thing okay first of all you go to file place choose your file click place and then click again your image will be loaded and then you make it bigger when you want to make it bigger bring your cursor to the corner click press shift and then drag can you do it now and sir so the picture get from where sir uh from google oh you mean uh you want to download can you check in the chat box there is a link dropbox link check in the chat box there is a link for it and then choose uh, direct download sir yeah yes puganesh sir the format cannot be placed why again again sir Ah, uh, again, again. Repeat. What is the error message? Ah, uh, the file sample logo zip is not a format which cannot be placed. Cannot be placed. Can you try again? Try one more time. Okay. Go to file. I place. Okay, after you download, right? You need to unzip the file. Okay, that is a zip file. You need to extract first. You right-click on the file. You choose extract here. After you extract, okay, you'll be able to see all these images. Okay, if you don't extract, you'll only see one file. Okay. You right click on the file, choose extract here. But, uh, sir, but they don't have the place uh, icon, you know. It's only file place. File place definitely will have. Oh yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's been there for many years. I think from the beginning itself. Okay. Okay, make it as big as you want. Uh, this logo I just downloaded from Google, Google Images. Uh, the first logo, choose the first logo, the one, the orange color bird.
ग्रीन कलर व्हाइट Okay, whichever you choose after you lah. Okay, I'm going to show you the first one. Okay, the green color is the number eight, is it? Number eight or number three? Okay, number eight is very similar. The process is just similar. Okay, you can choose eight also, no issues. Number seven also similar. The method of creating the logo, number one. Number seven, number eight is similar. Okay, number two slightly different, uh, almost the same lah. Almost the same. This one different. This one also a bit same. Different, different. Okay, so it depends on uh, what type of logo that you are creating. Okay, and then you need to use a uh, different tools to do that. Okay, later after we complete this, I will show you how to we can modify an alphabet uh, kind of logo. Okay, you can use alphabet to create logos, right? So you can modify the shape of the uh, the letter. Okay, have you guys loaded? Have you placed your images? I have done, sir. Wait a moment, sir. Done, sir. Okay, I'm down, down, still downloading. Go to file, choose place, and then search for your file. So any image can read, sir. No, choose the first one. The orange color bird. How to extract? After you download the file, you go to right click on the file. You choose extract here. Okay, I think I have to conduct a basic computing class. Right. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Saravanan. Who is Saravanan? No worries. I'm a patient guy. Yeah, we are waiting for the participant to place the image. So, how to extract the file, sir? How to extract the file? Okay. How come? You see, okay, so first of all, you have this uh, zip file, right? Okay, so number one, you download first this file, the zip file, you download, right? Then after that, you right click on the zip file and then you choose extract here. Okay, maybe you don't have this Windra, maybe you have a other uh, Windows uh, default one. Also, they will write extract, something like extract here or something. When you choose extract here, okay, and then let's say I press yes to all, you'll have a folder with images. Then you go back to your illustrator. Then you go to place. Okay, good question. Where can I further learn this uh, AI? Okay, we, we are actually organizing a paid class on the Saturday and Sunday full day. Okay, later I will share you the details.
Okay, placing image dan placing image dan dan Okay, shall we proceed? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is a reference image. You see, when I use my selection tool, it is select, still uh, selecting the image. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on top of so We're seeing uh, your desktop file. We're not seeing your illustrator. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Thanks for telling me that. No problem. Okay, can see, right? Yes, we can. Okay. So now you see, after I place the image and then I enlarge the image, I still manage to select the part, the image, I can move it around, okay? But then now what I'm going to do is, we, we will try to uh, draw back on top of this logo, okay? So in order for us to draw, right, we have to make sure we don't accidentally move this image, okay? So what we do, we lock the image, okay? How to lock any object or image inside Illustrator? We press Control 2 or you go to Object, you choose Lock Selection. Okay, can you see that? You select your image using Selection tool. You go to Object, Lock, Selection. Okay. Can you get it? Okay, select the image using selection tool. You go to object, lock, selection, or you press control two, also can. Okay, so now, now if you try to select your image, you won't be able to select, okay, because it is locked. Later, you can unlock back and then you can delete later, not now, all right? So uh, the tools that you're going to use, uh, the tool that you're going to use is a pen tool to draw this uh, shape, okay? So I'm going to go to pen tool, P for pen. You just type P in your keyboard. You will get a pen tool there, okay? Let me just uh, show you first how to actually draw using a pen tool, okay? So first thing, after I click the pen tool, I go to click, okay? Click, 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 okay? You see now my fill color is there. So whenever I, I'm using a pen tool, you should not have a fill color like this. You should have only a stroke color, All right? Number one. And then if you click, 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 it become like this, right? A straight line, right? So I'm going to go back to my color panel, window, color, okay? And then I, I swap the color. Instead of fill, I put it on the stroke. Okay, so I'm going to delete back this. Use my selection tool. Always remember, if you want to select object, use selection tool. So I press V. V for selection tool. Select the object, I delete. And then if I want to draw now, I press P and then I draw now. Now you see there is no fill color. Only stroke color. Can? Okay, before we draw the logo, I want you to practice with the pen tool first. Okay, make sure there is only stroke color, number one. And then when you click, 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 right, without dragging, click, it will become a straight line. But when you start to drag, click, drag, drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Can you see the difference? Okay, it will become curvy, not straight line. If you don't drag, it will become straight line. If you click and drag, it will become curvy. All right. So can you can you test that out? Yes, uh, Miss uh, Nur Shazana. How to click and, and drag again? Okay, I, I repeat one more time. No issues. Okay, I go to pen tool number one, and then I click and drag. Click and drag. Sambil tekan tarik. Sambil tekan tarik. The, the cursor? Cursor, yes. We need, uh, I mean, uh, to, to drag the line, we need to hold the cursor, am I right? Yes, yes. Click. Uh, mouse tu kena click and drag. Okay, terima kasih. Click the mouse and drag. Okay, but if you don't drag, if you just click, click, 
click, click, you get a straight line. Try first. Any problem, please let me know. How to remove the fill color? All right. First of all, you need to open your color panel. You have to select your object and then you click the swap icon here. The, there is a two arrow there. You just swap. So you are exchanging the color. If you want to change it manually, right? Okay, so I select the object, the fill color, click the fill color first. Then I click none. And then I click the stroke color down here. And then I choose uh, whatever color that I want. Can also. After the two, after the two dots um, connect, connecting to each other, mm -hmm. how to cut the balance of the line? How to cut the balance of the line? What please, do you mean? I don't understand. Let me, let me share my, let me share my. <coughs> yes, yes. I draw in two on, yeah? What do you see, sir? Tak nampak. Tak nampak juga. No. Can you click on the share screen? So you mentioned and drag right so but the, i don't have mouse then how to drag uh, so can you allow uh, allow uh, allow me to share the screen yes yes okay if you don't have mouse then difficult huh? if you are using laptop without a mouse right when you want to do design very difficult office work without mouse you can do but when it comes to design works okay uh, digital painting uh, designing uh, you need a mouse Okay, this is mine. Okay, nampak sikit. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm zoom in. Uh, okay, okay, nampak. I have finished, but how to cut the balance of this line? Because the two dots are already... Uh, okay, okay, I, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Nur Shazan, I just take a look. I, I use my pen tool. I draw, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay, and then I click something like this, right? Okay, but the thing is, this point, it is not joined together. Even though this is an anchor point, and then it meets another anchor point here, it is not joined together. Okay, you cannot do something like this. No. Okay, but you, of course, you can remove this part by deleting the anchor point. If I go to pen tool, click and hold, you have delete anchor point tool, right? Click on that and then click the end part here to remove. But still, this is not connected. This part is not connected. How do I know? I use my direct selection tool. I click and drag, you see, it is not connected. So to connect these two points, okay, you just move it a bit uh, far away and then you use back your pen tool click the anchor point, and then click the anchor point. Then it is connected. Okay, so if I use my direct selection tool now, you see, it is not breaking. If I click and drag here, also not breaking. Okay. Mine, uh, when I click, uh, when I click the, the pen tool, mm -hmm. To erase the balance, uh, still I cannot do it. Uh, you don't use the pen tool. You use a delete anchor point tool. Delete anchor point tool. Click and hold the pen tool. You will see delete anchor point tool. Uh, 
um, anchor point tool is it? Uh, okay, click and hold. You will see delete anchor point tool. Shortcut is minus in your keyboard. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Delete yeah, the point two. Ah, choose that and then click at the point that you want to remove. Okay, so for example, like this, right? Okay, choose delete anchor point tool and then click the end here. This one, click. But mine cannot. Uh, what does it say? Okay, I'm showing mine. Okay. Okay, this is the pen tool, right? Uh, choose delete anchor point tool. Which one? Okay, what version are you using? Trial version. Um, trial version. No, no. Um, not the trial one. And then CS6. Yeah, CC. 20, 20. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, try to click minus in your keyboard. Negative. Minus. Negative. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Control negative, am I right? Just negative. Just minus. Cannot. Because your tool is active there. You you click somewhere first. Mm -hmm. Empty space. You deselect. Okay, you click here. Click here. Empty space. Click first. Uh, then click minus. Can you okay. see the tool? Okay. Uh, now you. try to click. Then? <clears throat> Hemalata, I didn't crop my logo yet. Okay, the logo is still there. Okay, Sir, so I, I, yes, I need okay. some help. Yes. When I click on the pen tool icon, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there seems to be three anchor points. Uh. Where? <laughs> when I click on the pen tool, when I click on the pen tool, okay, I already clicked pen tool. And then I click on the white uh, area here. Okay, click. I have one line but with three dots. Can I share my screen for you to yes. have a view? Yes, yes, please. Hang on, yeah. Let me just delete all. Okay, I'll share it now. <clears throat> okay, you can see my screen? Nope. Nope. Can you see now? No. Nope. Just a second, it's loading. Okay, can you see? Yep. I can see here a green box which says you are screen sharing and another option stop share. Okay, that means you, you are sharing. Can share screen. No, I can, can. Only... Other participants yeah. can share screen. But I think we can view one. So I think if you unshare, then she will be able to see her screen. No, the moment she share, mine will be unshared. Let's say yeah. I stop sharing. Okay, now try to share now. I have already shared. It shows here you are screen oh, sharing. Okay. okay, now, now. I can see Fauzia BB sharing a screen. Ah, okay. Draw now. Draw now. Okay. I click on my pen tool. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay, when you click and drag, okay, you actually have one point and two handles. Yes. That is correct. Yeah. So it goes like this. Yes. 
but it doesn't stop. I can't stop this. You need to click where you started. You need to click where you started. Click. Yes. It doesn't stop, sir. I'm trying. Okay, click. Okay, I have clicked. Done. Ah, okay. Right, let me just okay, do that again. You need to click exactly where you started to close the path. Okay, I'll do this again. Please guide okay. me. Uh huh. Use your I... selection tool and then delete. Okay, okay. Start. Ah, uh, okay. I'll I'll delete. Use your selection tool to delete. Selection tool V. Just type V. Okay, delete. Delete. Okay. Okay. I'll go back to the pen tool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll click first. Mm -hmm. And then it moves. Mm -hmm. And then I click another one time. Mm -hmm. I click. So it comes back. Yep. Done. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. No problem. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Okay, just, just take a look one more time. Okay, the question just now, when she click and drag, there is three points here, right? That is the question just now. Okay, but then this is not three points. It's actually the middle one is the point, the anchor point. The other two is actually the handle. Okay, the other two is the handle. When I let go, okay, now I can see the path. The straight line here, this is a handle for us to adjust the curve. When I click and drag again, I get another handle. I click and drag again, I get another handle. Okay, and then I close it back, I click and drag. Okay, so now actually I have three handles. Okay, I use back my direct selection tool. When I click at one anchor point, I can control these two and these two uh, handles. When I click another anchor point, I can control this handle. When I click another anchor point, I can control this handle. Means I can click and drag the handle. Okay, I can choose the handle and then click and drag. Okay, if I want to make it uh, sharper, I make it closer to each other, closer to each other, something like that. Okay. Okay, so just an, another exercise before we start with the logo. I want you to draw this. First, I click, click and drag. Okay, and then I, let's say click again, click. And then maybe, uh, let's say here, click and drag, and then click. Can you create this shape? Something like a leaf kind of shape or a plane? Can you try to do this? Can you do that again? Okay, so I have four anchor points. One, two, three, and four, right? The first click, I don't drag. Just click on it. Then click and drag, click, click and drag, click back. All right, so I'm going to repeat again. Use pen tool. First of all, click first, click and drag, click, click and drag, and click. Okay, so means you can see the sharp corner here on top and the bottom here. This one, I just click. I didn't drag. Sir, I can't do the track track, sir. The curve one. 
Okay, one more time. I show you again. Eh? Oh, it's not okay. easy. Huh? Yes. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, uh, for the beginner, it will feel like a bit difficult. But then the moment you learn it, it will be very easy for you. Okay, so you click on the pen tool. Okay, you click first. Then move your cursor down and to the right. Click and drag. And then move your cursor to the left and down some more. Just click only. Then move up and to the left. Click and drag up. And then you click again. Sir, I'm having problem too. Every time yes. I click, the thing goes uh, wobbly, goes somewhere. It's not the shape of your leaf. This is what I want to achieve, actually. <laughs> you I mean the the lily leaf, is uh, it? Your the leaf that you're drawing now. I try to follow you, but every time I lift up the mouse, it actually disjointed. So when I join back, the thing goes somewhere else. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, I, I'm going to repeat again one more time slowly, yeah. Okay, so let's say I choose pen tool, number one. Click and let go, your mouse. Click and let go, eh? number one. Number two, move your cursor, click and drag. While clicking, you need to drag. Number three, you move your cursor and click only. Click and let go. Number, uh, number one, two, three, four, click and drag. While clicking, you drag. Then you click again. Click and let go. Try one more time. So one more time again, sir. <laughs> Sorry, give because sir. Come again. Yes, my intern. Sorry. It's a bit difficult. One more time, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Okay, no worries, no worries. It's okay. Okay, so first thing, I choose pen tool. Okay, if you want to delete your whatever thing that you have drawn, right, you click back your selection tool, make sure you erase everything. Make sure you delete everything. Sometimes when we just simply click and let go, right, you have a point there actually. You have an anchor point. You see, I have two anchor points right now. All right, so make sure you use your selection tool and then you click and drag and then you delete. All right, okay. So after I delete, I go back to my pen tool. I click first, then I move my cursor. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I click first and then I click and drag. And then I click again, the fourth one, click and drag. Then lastly, you just click back. Um, can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, my my pen tool uh, uh, kind of gone missing. The one that I have is a pen tool with a string. Uh, how do I get back my pen tool? Press P. P in your keyboard. T as in T. T. P. P. Penang. 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 Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, sir, I uh, yeah. tanya. Uh -huh, tanya. Okay. Uh, bila I yang first click, first tu kan? So, uh -huh. uh, yang second second point, bila I click and drag, dia tak boleh, dia tak jadi macam uh, lengkung tau. Dia just jadi untuk straight. straight Sebab line. you tak tarik kot. Uh, tarik, I tarik juga. Uh, cuba tengok eh, cuba tengok eh. Saya klik. Okay, klik eh. Sekarang ni dia straight lagi. Dia tak lengkung lagi. You okay. kena klik dan tarik. Click, okay, okay, sambil okay. tarik. Uh, sambil klik, tarik. Alright. Okay, okay, dapat saya. Okay, third one, klik sahaja. Fourth one, klik dan tarik. Klik dan tarik means bukan klik dan lepas tau. Klik and also tarik. Alright, okay, dapat. 
Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Jadi tapi tak kembung macam sebuah. <laughs> okay, tak kembung sebab tak cukup tarik. Ha. Kurus je sikit. Yep. Okay, so contohnya kalau I tak tarik sikit saja kan. Okay, klik and then tarik sikit and then klik. Ha, jadi macam ni ke? Okay. Exactly. So after, let's say dia tak kembung kan. Right? Mana so you that? click back using your direct selection tool. You click at the anchor point. You still can adjust your this handle. Click the handle and then you drag. Click the anchor point first. Then click the uh, handle and drag. Something like this. Gosh, it looks so easy the way you do, but for us to do is so difficult. <laughs> sir, Hello, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Who's that, please? Sir, uh, if I click the second time, uh -huh. the previous line all all the gone. Can I see one? Let's see. Uh, do you have the stroke color there? Yes, I show you. I show. I show you the screen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Better. Can you see, sir? Uh, cannot see. Okay, okay, I can see the pen. I draw like this and mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Okay, now God. Now gone. Okay, click the selection tool now. Select. Uh, okay, I think. Okay, I think something is wrong with the graphic card. <laughs> okay, sir. Yes. Okay, because why? Okay, it, it it's missing for a while and then it comes back, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, after you complete it, you will be there. No worries. Okay, the thing issue here is the graphic card definitely. Okay, so whenever you do design, right, the preview, yeah. if it is not right, something wrong with the graphic card or the driver, graphic card driver, you can try to update your graphic card driver. But now you you got the result, right? Yeah, but I don't know where, at which point I have to stop. Okay, no worries. After you draw, after um, you draw, then you edit back using the handles. Uh, okay, okay. You okay. can move your anchor point, you can adjust the handle. So this one, this method, I have to uh, update the, what, what sir? Upgrade the... Update, update driver. Driver, okay, okay. Graphic card driver, yeah. Okay, okay. Mine, sir. Uh, yes. Okay, what is the issue? No, already done. Dah hilang. No issue. Oh, can, no issue. can you do it one more time, sir? Yes, yes. Ten times also can. <laughs> you got a lot of patience, which we like. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, I, I also learned the same way. Lah, huh? Beginning, of course, it will be like a difficult bit. Okay, so I'm going to choose a selection tool, delete. Okay, choose the pen tool. First of all, click first. Click and let go your mouse and then move your cursor. Click and drag. Don't let go your mouse. Click and drag. Third one, click only. Click and let go. The fourth one, click and drag. Then click. Can?
almost half of it. <laughs> okay, so you have to do some practice, lah. Huh? Never mind, no worries. Okay, let's let's try to create something here. This look very similar, right? This pattern. Okay, if you want to zoom in, you press Control Plus to zoom in. If you want to move your image, right, you use your hand tool here. Okay, hand tool is actually panning, or you can use space bar to pan. Okay, you go nearer, Control Plus, and then you use your hand tool, you go nearer to this image. I want you to draw this shape. Okay, let me just show you first. I use my pen tool first, click, click and drag. You see, I'm, I'm trying to follow the shape. Okay, you don't simply click like this, click and drag this way. You need to follow the shape, click and drag. And then over here, what I do, I click and drag again. And then I click only because I have a very sharp corner there. And then down here, click and drag. Again, click and drag. And then lastly, click again. Okay, almost there. No worries, if you made a mistake, you can always edit back using your direct selection tool. I can always use uh, direct selection. I can move my anchor point here. And then maybe this part is not that accurate. So I click this anchor point and then I adjust this handle. Something like this. And then here also same thing. I can move it a bit. And here I can zoom in. Okay, I can drag this a bit. Can you try that? Leaf was so hard, it's gonna be so hard. Uh, no worries. Okay, you have to do it, then only you will know. All right, so this one after I complete, I can actually change the color of it. Okay, so let's say I put green or whatever, I get this. Okay, repeat one more time. Click on the pen tool, take a look first, take a look first, click on the pen tool, click at the corner here. Click and let go, and I come up here, the top pick here. Click and drag horizontally. How do you decide the point? How do you decide which point you supposed to start in? Okay, very good question. Very good question. Okay, how do I know where to click right? and stop? Yes, that comes. Uh, the stopping part is okay because you can when you drag right, you can see the shape. Then you stop lah. All right. So when, so when the shape is correct as what we want, then you stop the dragging part. But where to click, it comes with experience. Right. <laughs> okay. <Good answer. laughs> okay. So for example, like this shape, right? Okay. I know that I need to click here one. I need to click somewhere here one. Okay. And at the corner, of course. And here, maybe roughly here. And another one is here. Okay. Thanks, thanks. All right, great, great. Okay, so let me just put a marker there so that you can know. Yeah, that'll be good. So we know where to stop and where to start yes, again. Yes. Okay, the one left and right, you just click. The middle four points, you, you have to click and drag. Sir, yeah, 
Can you teach me how to do that again? Yes, no problem. Very hard, sir. Okay, okay, just take a look. I'm, I'm going to show you on the second one. Okay, before I start, what I do, I, I put a marker there so that you also can know lah, where, where you're supposed to uh, click. Okay, so this will be my first point. Okay, I'm going to draw my pen to at this point. And then the second point that I'm going to click is somewhere around here. This will be my second point. Okay, and then I go to third point is somewhere around here. And then the fourth point is somewhere here, the corner of course. And then next one is here. and here okay and then lastly you connect back okay so what i do i lock these things first okay i use my pen tool okay i use my pen tool and then first thing i click here at the corner and then click and let go when you click and let go you move your cursor you get straight lines okay and then i come to my second point somewhere here I click and drag. While clicking, you drag. Okay. When I am dragging, right, I'm I'm looking at the left side of the curve. Can you see the curve where it's moving? Okay, it should be moving to follow the the our object there. Alright. So you see, if let's say I stop here, can you see the the edge? It doesn't touch. Okay, so yes, I need sir. to drag a bit more. Drag a bit more. Drag a bit more until this shape is correct okay so after that only i go to the next point click and drag same thing i'm looking at the left side left side of the curve how it's going right like this this is wrong right okay so i need to adjust the position of the handle okay until i get the shape one is the length of the uh, handle one is the direction of the handle okay direction and the length of the handle very important Okay, so you adjust both. Okay, so once you feel okay, you let go. Then this one, you click first, click and let go. This one, you just ignore first, later you can drag back. All right, so here, click and drag. Now I'm looking at the right side. Click and drag, click and drag until the shape is correct. Okay, like this, it's already out of the shape. Okay, so I move it down a bit, move down until I get the shape correct and then I adjust the length of the handle then let go then the next point click and drag something like that let go and then click okay now I still need to some make some adjustment over here I use my direct selection tool I press A for direct selection tool I choose this anchor point and then I adjust this handle can you see that Wow, you made it so nice and easy. So easy, but doing so hard. Yeah, I have a try. question, sir. Yes. You see, your guideline, uh, the, your handle is very short. My one seems like so long. That's why it always goes out of whack. How okay, you when you it? click and drag more, right? Of course, the, the handle become longer. So, so you don't make it so long don't drag it too much no 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 not the handle there's another line that says a line 90 degree a line 135 what is that 90 degree. are you using the pen tool uh, yes pen tool is it possible you share your screen Is this my screen now? Let's see, I stopped. Ah, okay. Okay, can you can see your screen? Okay. You see, you see the line. Mm -hmm. What is that? So long. That's why it always go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. 
make your oh, illustrator sure. bigger. Make your illustrator bigger. Maximize that. Okay, can can we see where does it goes? Where am I? I've got so many things open. Uh, yeah, this one. See? See all these long lines? Okay, the I moment see. after you finish drawing, right, you straight away go to your direct selection tool. Choose your direct selection tool. Mm -hmm. Click at any anchor point. Anchor, anchor point, yeah. Mm. Yep. Then only you edit. <clears throat> okay, now your objects all are very sharp, right? Okay, you use anchor point tool. Okay, if you uh, click and hold the pen tool, try to click and hold the pen tool. The last one, convert anchor point tool, click on that. Okay, not that one. Okay, click and drag that. Yes. Not moving up. Yes, to the left and right. Yes. Yes, correct. The other one? Yep. Yeah, so this long line I'm talking about, you see? No, I... no, it's just a guideline. If you don't want that, right, you go to you go to view, you uncheck the smart guide. This one, uncheck. Mm. Try to uncheck now. Mm -hmm. Try to drag now. You are dragging on the opposite. Yes, yes, correct. Okay, let go. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, the one on the top also same. Yes. Yep. Oh. And the one on the right hand side, right? You just click. Just click. Click and let go. Right and left. Right. The one on the right. Uh huh. Yeah. Just click. Okay. And then use your direct selection tool. Drag the handle there. The lower, <coughs> lower right. Handle. Handle. Yes. Make it shorter. Make it shorter. Yes. Uh, not too short. Yes. Correct. Then. Oh, okay. Can you see that? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Sir. All right, all right. No problem. Uh, can I come in? Can I just yeah. share screen with you? Just uh, I think I must have pressed something wrong because uh, my line has become thicker. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Can. Okay. Uh, how do I do that screen? Uh, click on share screen. Yes. On your Zoom platform, click share screen. Hello. Yeah. Have you shared? I and uh, I I share sh I press sh share screen and then uh -huh. the box come up. Do I press screen? Yeah, choose the Illustrator screen. Uh, share screen, and then there's a there's screen photos iCloud Drive Dropbox. Choose the Illustrator screen. There's no illustrate. There's no Illustrator screen. Which one is that? <laughs> Website? The oh. one has your logo there, the orange color logo. Mm -hmm. Don't have. No. Oh, do I have to uh, start video? Uh, uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no need to start uh, video. Yeah. yeah, is it? Can you see me? Uh, okay. Can you see the black one? Um, okay. Why is that? Because you, you are drawing that line. Why is there a black color one? Because your stroke color is black. <coughs> okay, how do I... Um, uh, you go to that? color panel. You go to selection tool first. Selection tool. Uh -huh, click. Okay, you can delete that. Okay. You go to window. You choose color. Window? Mm -hmm, or color. window? Color. Yep. Color. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the field color and stroke color? Ah, the one black color. Click on the black color. Uh-huh. No, 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 not that. Put none here. 
put none uh -huh. click on the the black color up there yes click click first yeah. uh -huh. click then change the color to different color from the color picker down there yes okay yes choose a different okay, so color not black no blue is it blue? blue okay now try to draw now using the pen tool okay pen tool Okay. All right. Hey, it's still coming out. Uh, it's blue right now. Yeah, but it's thick. <laughs> it's, it's thick. 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 Okay. What? Thick means uh, stroke width. Uh, the, but the then stroke my stroke width. is one. <clears throat> my is stroke it? is one. Maybe your document size is very small. Your image size is very small. Oh. Can you zoom out? Can can I see your your screen? Zoom out some more, 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 some more, more. Zoom out some more. Okay, can you see that your image is very small compared to uh -huh. your document? Uh huh. Uh, that's why your line looks like very thick. Okay, so okay. to to correct this, what you can do is you can lower down the stroke width you can put 0 0.5 you can put 0 0.3 0 0.2 okay uh-huh use back selection tool selection, selection tool, tool. uh-huh go to your stroke width there stroke width change to 0 0.3 my stroke width gone missing okay you go to window you go to stroke Window stroke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put zero point. What is the current value? Uh, five. Zero point five or five? Zero point five. You try zero point two. Type. You need to type. I think. Okay, zero point two. Draw five. now. Uh huh. Draw now. Is it thinner now? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you. Okay. okay. Did you guys manage to draw this? Yes. Sir. Yes. This is mine. Why uh, this this part uh, seems like cut off already? Ah, uh, hang on, hang on, one second. Okay, because the fill color is white color, there is no stroke color there. Okay, so you you have to put fill color none, stroke color a darker color, so that you can see the stroke clearly. So, um, yep. if you have already drawn the picture, right, but then you realize that you cannot get the curve because not enough anchoring, right? Can you uh -huh. add? Can. Yes. Okay. So, for example, I show you. Uh, one sec. So, for example, I have this, and then I let's say I don't have uh, enough anchor point. Where is my? Okay. Let's say something like this, lah. Um, can you see my screen, guys? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Um, I don't see this okay. Okay, so it's something like this, right? I don't have enough anchor point. Okay, uh -huh. so what I do, I go to click here, the pen tool, click and hold, add anchor point. Okay. Okay, add anchor point tool, choose that, and then you add where you want to add. For example, let's say here. And then I choose my direct selection tool. I move this anchor point. Wow. Done. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. So, like, you will email us the recording, right? Okay, I will. No worries. Okay, sir, thank you. Because it's very hard to catch up. So, we can refer the recording. Okay, sure. I don't have add anchor point. You press plus in your keyboard. If you don't have, can't see the icon, right? You press plus in your keyboard. It will go to add anchor point two.
Okay, so I'm going to continue drawing here. Click, okay, click and drag, and then I click, click and drag, click and drag, and then I click. Okay, this one is going to be two different part. Okay, so I'm going to draw it uh, separately. Okay, let's say something like this. And another thing is, let's say here I have a curve, okay, which I need to click and drag. I click and drag, but here I want it to be sharp, right? So what I can do is I can press alternate, click and drag to change the direction of the curve. Okay, so when I click now, okay, I can see this become sharper. Okay, I'm going to repeat one more time. Okay, so this part, I want it to be curvy. So what I do, I click here and drag, correct? But after this, when I click here, this become curvy, which I don't want, right? So what I do, I press alternate in my keyboard. You see my, my tool changes to uh, anchor point tool, okay? So I click and drag the handle, something like that, okay? And then I click and drag again, okay? If it is not accurate, then you can adjust that later on. Zoom out. Control minus spacebar to pen. The hand tool, you can use a spacebar to pen actually. Okay, and then click and drag. <clears throat> Let's say click and drag. Okay, something like this. So, first of all, roughly you draw first, then you use your direct selection tool, you adjust the points. Okay, I go to click this anchor point and then I adjust my handle here. Okay, this one also same. Move the anchor point, adjust the handle, something like that. Okay, here also need some repairing. Okay, you zoom in, control spacebar to zoom in. You see, I don't press the control plus or whatever, control plus, uh, control spacebar to zoom in. Okay, and then control zero to zoom all. Okay, I zoom in and then use direct selection tool. I move it and this one as well, I'm gonna move it. Adjust the handle and then you move it as well. Okay, so let's say done. A quick question, huh? well, yep. why you decide to cut that half? Because of the curve or? Because the color is different. Here, the color, Oh, this part, it's different. Okay. <clears throat> That's why. Right, thanks. Okay, so on top here, same thing like how we did earlier. Click, click and drag, click and drag, and then click here, and then click and drag, click and drag, click back. Okay, if you want to adjust, use direct selection tool, adjust the handle and the anchor point. Okay, here you must repair back. Okay, this part must be overlapping, correct? So that there is no gap. So you go nearer, you select the anchor point, you just move it so that it overlaps, number one. And then this curve should be something like that. And here also same thing, it should be overlapping. Okay. So now it is stroke, still stroke. Later on, we will change the stroke into fill color. Then it will be nicer. Okay, so I'm going to continue here. Use pen tool, click only, click and drag. Okay, and then click and drag. Click only, click and drag. Click and drag, and then click only. Okay, use that direct selection tool, go nearer and then adjust back in case if you made mistake or whatever, and then you adjust back. And this part, okay, I'm gonna adjust the handle a bit. Okay, here, make the handle slightly longer. Okay, this one move a bit. Okay, so you need to move the anchor point and also adjust the handle's length and the direction of the handle. All right, so next, again, pen tool, click, click and drag, 
click and drag, click, click. Whenever you want a straight line, you just click, click. Okay, whenever there is a curve, then only you click and drag. Okay, actually, <coughs> drawing a straight line is much easier. Okay, you just have to click on it. Okay, I just roughly clicking and drag, click and drag. Okay, and then if you want to adjust, use that your direct selection tool, A for direct selection tool, sorry. And then adjust the handle. If you need to adjust the anchor point also, same thing, you just move the anchor point and then you drag the handle a bit. Okay, when, when you adjust one handle, right, the other side also will be affected. So you need to check both sides. After you adjust one, you check another side. All right, so let's say this is done. And then lastly, this part. Okay, this is the sharp part that I told you earlier. Press alternate and click and drag the handle. Okay, let's say I start from the mouth part here. Click, click and drag. Okay, I click and drag. Okay, here. If I click and drag now, you see, this is not sharp, right? Okay, it's supposed to be sharp. So what I do, instead of just direct click, I change my direction of the curve. I press alternate, click and drag this handle. Then only I do this line. Here also same. I click and drag, I get a curve line here, nice. But this one, this one is very sharp. This corner, right? So I need to press alternate, click and drag. Then only I start to draw Can Iswaran? Wow, sir, so, so draw nice. so relaxed and cool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I nice. was so mesmerized, you know. <laughs> no, no sound, nothing. You were just watching quietly. <laughs> but if we were to do that, uh, kalang kabo lah kita. <laughs> it's going to take few hours, bro, sir. Okay, no worries. Okay, no worries. Okay, the first thing that you need to. <clears throat> practice a lot is uh, by creating a shape like this, like a leaf kind of shape or flame kind of shape. Okay, that will be your first uh, uh, practice. You need to practice, practice until make it perfect. Means you need to control your curve. Okay, what you do, you you download some leaf images. You try to uh, draw back and then try to minimize the number of anchor point. That's very important. When you have a lot of anchor points then difficult for you to control your curve. Like for example, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six points here. Only six points, not more, okay? But let's say if you want to do same thing, using more points also can, okay? So for example, I click, okay? I click and drag, I click and drag, I click and drag, I click and drag, sorry. Undo that. If you made a mistake, undo immediately, okay? Click and drag. Okay, so let's say I want it to be sharp. Just click, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and click. Okay, so I can do this as well, but then you can see it is not that smooth compared to a lower number of anchor point. All right, so if I go to direct selection tool, I can see my anchor point. What I do, I go to click minus in my keyboard to remove uh, anchor point. So I remove some of it. Okay, this one remove. I say this one also remove. This one also remove. After you remove, use back your direct selection tool. Adjust back your handle. Click and drag your handle. Click the anchor point and then choose the handle and then you drag. Sorry, click the anchor point, click the handle and drag. Click the anchor point, click and drag. Okay, here also not smooth enough. Here also slightly longer and slightly shorter. Something like that. Okay. So for certain drawing needs lesser anchor point, certain drawing needs a lot more, is it? How do we decide when to use less or more? When your 
<coughs> do we have anything here? Uh, let's say this text. Lah, huh? I want to draw this text using, let's say, the pen tool, for example. Okay? The drawing is complicated, not like a shape, uh, a leaf shape, right? Okay, so I need to one, two, three, four, something like that. And then let's say I want to continue. Lah, huh? I draw, if I want to do a circle, I need to have more. Okay? And then when the object is complicated, you need more points. If the object is simple, you try to minimize that shape. Okay, Especially when it comes to curvy shape. When it's a very smooth curve, you try to minimize. Okay. okay? So for example, let's say over here. You see here, I don't put any anchor point. Did you notice that? True. Just On the one line. area here, I have one anchor point here another one anchor point here because it's a very smooth curve i don't need another extra point here okay clear okay at the bottom here i have one two and three only okay and here one two and three for this line so you have to minimize the number of anchor points so that your line will be smoother, easy to control actually. Make your work easier, that's all. All right, so lastly, what I do for the eyes here, I just draw a ellipse. Draw ellipse and then I rotate the ellipse. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, let me just uh, show you. Earlier we have a question how to use color, right? Okay, let's say I don't like this color. I want to apply some different color. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to apply color first. Okay, this shape, one of the shape is done, right? This shape is done, right? Right? Guys, right? Yes, yes. We just yeah, drag yeah, it out, right? From the image? Yeah, yeah. I just drag okay. it out. Okay, okay, let's say this shape, when I select, I go to color panel. I can see there is no fill color. There is only stroke color. One thing I can do is I can swap the color, means no stroke, only fill. Then I can change the color from here or from here. Okay, number one. Let's say I want a gradient color, something like this. Okay, this one got gradient color, right? It's a mixture of color. So I select the object, I go to gradient panel. I go to window, I go to gradient. Okay, click on the gradient panel here yeah, and make sure your fill color is on top. If my stroke color is on top, I click on this gradient, it will apply to the fill, uh, stroke color. Can you see that? Yeah, yep. stroke become gradient. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want a stroke color. So make sure the fill color is on top, then only you click on the gradient here. Then you can change this color. Double click the color and then choose something else. Double click this point here and then choose other color, let's say. Okay. Wow. Nice. This is to apply a color. This is amazing. Agree. I've only been doing designing in Canva, but this is the first time. Uh, okay. It really makes a good... Uh, Delivery. Okay, actually, actually, you thanks, can do wonders. We haven't touched anything yet. Okay. What? Got wonders <laughs> some more. <laughs> this one is also okay, funny, it is. With uh, Illustrator, <laughs> we can create a, a very, uh, what you call, a realistic photograph kind of uh, image also can. So okay, if, like, if like oil painting kind of stuff. Code, Come again. Yeah. If you want to copy and paste the color code, you should paste yes. on the... Color, 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 color control panel is it? This way. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's say your client right. gave you a color code. Okay. It could be RGB or CMYK. Okay. If they are giving you a color code, that means you select the object, you go to color panel, you just fill in these colors. Okay. Let's say... Um, uh, normally, the color code will be uh, depends on CMYK or RGB. Let's say this one I put 200, and then I have maybe uh, 40, and then this one maybe uh, 255, something like that. 
Okay, so you just key in over here, but this one is a gradient. I don't want gradient. I just apply this one. So I have that specific color code. It could be CMYK or RGB. If I want to convert this to CMYK now, okay, I change to CMYK. I just put uh, cyan 50%, uh, magenta 50%, yellow 100%, and black zero. Okay, something like this. Okay, you key in over here. The CMYK, it will be in percentage, percent, from 0% to 100%. The RGB color, it will be in up to 256 color, uh, 255 actually. Okay, because it starts from zero. It's actually 256, but then because we have zero, the number, the maximum value is 255. 256 times 256 times 256, what do you get? What do you get? Six five five three six. Times two five five. Come again. What do you get? Two five six times two five six, right? Times two five six. Yeah, sixty five thousand something. Sixty five, not sixteen. Uh. Two five six times two five six. Uh huh. Sixty five k, right? No. 256 times 256 times 256. So you 16, mean oh, another one. 16,700,000 blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, something. Wow. What's okay. It? So have you ever seen anywhere they put advertisement 16 million plus color? Have you seen anywhere? Yep. Sometimes okay. you have a phone and things like that. Uh, normally, it will be in TV and phone and all that. Lah. Okay, so this is referring to RGB color. It is not a 16 million color, but it's just a basic color. Okay, because RGB, you have from 0 to 256, uh, 255, which is 256. So this one also, red is a 256, green 256, blue 256. Okay, you times all that, you have a combination of 16 million color okay that's about the 16 million color so quick question on the gradient right so yeah we yeah. use two colors right if i want to add like three colors yes you may okay for example i have two color can you see the blank space here uh -huh. you just click at the blank space down here click it will add more and then double click you change the color double click change the color and to remove click, click and drag down okay. click and drag down to remove then, then how about the the color code for the each color that we add in the gradient okay normally gradient they won't give you color code oh, okay, okay so for example okay let's say this one right i want this to be 100 percent uh blue maybe Okay, the green and uh, red, I want it to be zero. Okay, so I choose this color and then blue, I put 255, this one zero, this one zero. So I get blue. Let's say I want uh, blue and green, 100, uh, 255. So I can set it here as well from All the right. color panel. Okay. You okay. click the color in the gradient, then you and change then it in your color panel. Okay, makes sense. Thanks. Okay, so this one we manually adding in color. So we also have some uh, preset color. You can go to down here, swatches, oh, sorry, go to window, uh, swatches library, and then you go to gradient. Okay, all these are actually a preset of colors. Let's say, for example, I choose metal. Okay, I go to choose metal, and then I'm going to apply it to my bird here. I like all the all the object and then I just apply on the fill color and then no stroke color. I go to color panel, choose the stroke, I put none. So I get this. Okay. And the eyes, okay, I don't want it to be this color. So I go to color panel, I just choose white color maybe. I copy and paste again, and then I make a small black color dot there. Okay. 
So window, swatches library, okay, gradient, uh, gradient, and then you can choose your gradient. Let's say, for example, if I choose pastel, maybe, okay, I highlight all the object and then I apply. Okay, it will be a pastel gradient color. No wonder the software is expensive. <laughs> okay. Any question? Sir. Yeah. Um, Adrian here. Uh, yes, Adrian. How, how do you do, a, instead of fill it with gradient or color, how do you mm -hmm. fill the, the one that you selected as an image? Oh, okay. Say I have an image, I want it to be in the bird. Okay. Okay, let's say I, I place an image. Lah, huh? Let's say this chicken image. I'm going to place. Place it here. Make sure the image is bigger than your design. Okay, and then I send to back the image. Okay, I have uh, this one is blocking me. So I delete this one. Okay, let's say something like this, right? This is your question, right? Okay, so I select this object. Okay, and then... I select both the image and this object. I press Control 7. Control 7 is a clipping mask. Here. Object clipping mask make. When I click that, okay, what happened here? The image will be on the design. Clear? Yes. Sorry. Okay, sorry. so let's say, go to undo back. I go to select everything. I go to Pathfinder. Let's try if it works or not. I go to Unite. I select both. Press Control 7. No, cannot. You have to be separate objects. Then only can. So I need to make copies. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, seven. Uh, sorry, I undo back. One, two, three, four five, six, seven objects. Okay, so I need to copy the image seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so shift select with this object, image and the object, press control seven. Object and the image, press control seven. Image object, control seven. Image and the object, shift select. I'm selecting both object and then press control seven. Control 7 again, select both, Control 7 again. All right, so here we have a white color, right? Yeah. When we have a white color image, then we won't be able to see the, the border there, right? So what, what I do, I select everything, I group the object, then I go to put some shadow for it, drop shadow. And then I check the preview. Now I can see my line there. Okay, so this one, not so much. So maybe this one, I move it a bit. Move it the other side. Something like this. Okay. So is this, is this yeah. as similar as clipping um, mask? Yes, yes, similar. Sure. Yeah. The the clipping mask thing you just did, I'm honestly a bit lost. Okay, very simple. Okay, you have an object. Okay, let's say I draw a circle here. Okay, and then I, maybe I put some color so that you can see clearly. Okay, and then I want to put my image inside this circle. Okay, the rest of the thing I delete, delete. Okay, I bring in my image first. Go to file, place. Always remember file, place. And then I go to images, pixel, let's say, um, okay, this boy. Okay, this boy is quite big. Make it smaller. Make sure, make sure you press shift when you're scaling it down. Okay, I already placed my boy here. Okay, but, the, but I'm not sure where exactly I should be placing it, right? So I need to send the object to the back of the object. Okay, so I go to object, arrange, send to back. Okay, object, arrange, send to back. Okay, now I can see the circle clearly. 
I select both object means select the image, shift click the circle, then press control seven. Okay. Done. Sir, shift click seven, is it? No. Shift click means you, you are selecting both. Select both object, then press control seven, or you can go to object, clipping mask, make control seven. Okay. okay, control seven is clipping mask make. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, sir can you teach one thing? Uh? Yes. Can you clip this boy out of the background? Uh? That is one thing I always need to do. Uh, come again. This boy, cut mm -hmm. him out from the background because we always need to put our... Okay, so uh, in thanks. Illustrator, you still Oh, I think do... she's looking for remove background. Yeah, removing the background, right? Okay, so in Illustrator, it is... Uh, we don't have a very nice tool for that. So you have to, no choice, you have to draw the boy out. So the shape of the boy, let's say just a simple one, lah. I create one, okay, and then draw, and then draw, draw, draw. Let's say I close back my path here, select both object, press control seven. Okay, a simple one. Okay, if you want to do it in detail, so you need to draw the thing nicely. Lah. Okay, so you need to draw the path. Okay, make sure you don't cut anywhere. You have more anchor point and all that. Okay, so you can do that. But if you want to really uh, easily remove a background, right? You don't use this method, but you use Photoshop. Photoshop, you have a quick selection tool which you can easily select object. Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. I think since we just learned this pen tool and the direct selection, it will be very useful. All right, all right, great. Thank you. Okay, just now, uh, who was that asked about picking the color from other image? Who was that? I did ask. I'm the one. Yes. That's okay, a good so one. Let's actually. say I have an object. Okay, let's say, let's say this bird. Lah. The bird, I want to apply the color of this cupboard, the red color. Okay, so what I do, I select the bird first. Sorry, I have to release the clipping mask first. Oops, sorry. Okay, now I have this bird, right? Okay, so make sure your field color is on top and then choose the color picker over here. Can you see the eyedropper tool? Eyedropper oh, yes, tool. Okay, click on the eyedropper tool and then choose the color that you want from the image. Click. Sorry. Undo back. Select the object first. Okay, let's say I just randomly put some other color first. Choose the eyedropper and then click on the image or any design that has color. Click. That's it. Okay, Mawada. Okay, yeah, I understand that. What All right. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, any other question you want to ask before I wrap up? Uh, I have one other question about clipping yes. mask. Okay, um, uh, every shape that you drew just now, like head, sayap, and all that, must be in the same layer, or what? We must group first before we do the clipping mask. Okay, it can be on a separate layer or same layer. Layer doesn't matter, but you need to duplicate. If you remember this, I duplicate the image seven times. So oh. each object, I create different clipping mask. Oh, so for one object is for one clipping mask. One only. image. Uh, if oh, I go to I link, understand. right? I go to image, link. You can see I have a lot of images here. I see. Because I copy image, copy image, copy image. Then I make the clipping mask separately again and again. All right? Okay. I, okay, before, before anybody leaves, la, mm -hmm. I want to share you something. Okay, for this coming Saturday and Sunday, we are organizing a paid uh, training on Illustrator alone. Okay, I'll share you the link. Okay, just a moment. You can check out first.
Okay, can you see the link in the chat box? Oh, sorry, not to win, every one. Okay, can you see the link in the chat box? Yep. Okay, that is the link for the paid class. Okay, the price is uh, 300 ringgit. Normal price is 600. Okay, and it will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you can check out the, all the topics that is uh, covered and we will go project by project basis. We'll be, be designing a brochure and then flyer and also like infographics kind of thing. Okay, so yeah, if you wanna join, you can just click the link and then register or, and if you're not joining also, please uh, share out the link to those who you know. Can you please help me do that? <laughs> 